Greetings my fellow YouTubers and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. I decided to scrape that little piece of paper I show with my logo and what have you since I ain't getting much comments on it, so I'm just going to go back to the way it was. Anyway, this is Duel, better known to you as the Big D, so now I'm going to bring to you my review of Jumanji The Next Level. Now this is now, I'm going to try to do my best to make this a spoiler-free review, so I'm going to try not to spill too much, spill any specials and what, and all that jazz and what have you. <laughs> anyway, let me see. Yes, and the film was directed by Jake Kazan, who, of course, directed the last movie. And, of course, this is the fall to both Jumanji and Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, but it's the third installment overall in the Jumanji franchise. Now, of course, we got most of the cast. Now, most of the cast is actually back in this. We have Dwayne Johnson as Dr. Smolder Bravestone. Jack Black as Professor Sheldon, Shelley Oberon. Kevin Hart as Franklin Mouse Finbar. And Karen Gillan as Ruby Roundhouse. Plus, Nick Jonas is back as Jefferson C. Plum McDonough. And let me see now. And Reese Darby's back as Nigel Billingsley. The non player character in the game of Jumanji. Now, of course, we do have the same people who played the game. Of course, we once again have Alex Wolf as Spencer, Morgan Turner as Martha, Sidarius Blaine as Fridge. Let's see. And Madison Iceman as Bethany. Now, also in the movie is Danny DeVio as Spencer's cranky but well meaning grandfather, Eddie, and Danny Glover as Milo Walker, Eddie's estranged friend. But I'm going to try not to bring up too much of the details on this and what have you. Because that would possibly factually mean I'm spoiling this for you. So, I'm going to try not to give too much of the, di of the whole story to you. So, I'm not going to spoil everything. But like I said, I'm going to try to keep this a little spoiler free. Now, a year after the events of the last movie... Well, our four friends, Spencer, Martha, Fridge, and Bethany, have gone their separate ways, but make plans to meet up in their old hometown of Branford. <sighs> However, Spencer is being apprehensive about me and wearing one, especially Martha, who he put his relationship on hold or something like that, but uh, I don't want to try and bring up too much of that one, you, because that's kind of going to be in a way spoiling. Well, apparently, when he returns to um, Brantford, since he was in New York, going to college and what have you, the university, and, well, he realizes that his time within the game of Jumanji was what made him feel relevant and set out to return. The next day, they, well, the three heirs find that Spencer fails to show up to meet with them, and so they meet with Eddie, who's staying at the house recovering from hip surgery, and his former friend Milo Walker. Suddenly... Uh, they hear the drumming of Jumanji, and apparently they head to the basement and they discover Spencer deliberately kept the broken pieces. Yes, considering after Fritch crushed it with a bowling ball in the end of the last movie. So, and, and so he, they have to go get him. The, 
The game malfunctions out, sucking everybody in. But unfortunately, leaves Bethany behind, so she rounds up Alex. Who is once again played by Colin Hanks. I forgot to bring him up. Oh, yeah. But anyway, that's all I'm going to say about this. Now, another character we're introduced to is... Uh, Ming Fleetfoot, who is actually, well, I'm not going to bring up who's going on. This game does have a few map. The game is malfunctioning, and, well, people are in the wrong bodies and what have you. Uh, but I will not spoil that. You need to see the movie, okay? Sorry. Anyway, yeah, she's played by Aquafina, who most of y'all know her from Ocean's 8 and Crazy Rich Asians. And uh, I forgot what that movie she did not so long ago. Well, that uh, A24 Films did with her. I forgot what it was called, though. I know it has something to do with um, her and, and some of her family members and old grandmother or something. Oh, well. And, of course, I heard she's got a show coming up on Comedy Central next year. But, anyway, that's really cool. Now, once the gangs, once Jumanji's are going, they've learned they have to face off a new villain in the game named Jurgen the Brutal. Now, as much as I liked... Van Pelt from the last movie. I think this character is absolutely kind of pretty big and brutal. Yeah. Jurgen, Jurgen the Brutal is an iron fisted and arrogant warlord. The, who, well, I better not bring what he actually did. You need to see the movie. Sorry, not telling you that. That's spoiling everything. So, would I say check it out? Yes, most definitely. You're gonna, I think you'll enjoy this just as much as the other movie. It's got some real cool action, what have you, and uh, what goes on. In the game is absolutely really funny. You're gonna love the humor and what have you. I I love the performances we got from Dwayne Johnson and Karen Gillan, Jack Black and Kevin Hart. Why you? Oh, which by the way, that's one of my downsides with the movie is we hear a little bit more language in this one than, than the last movie and what have you. So that's kind of one of my few negatives with the movie because we didn't hear too much of that language in, in the previous movie. Don't worry, it doesn't quite come close to strong. It might get a teensy-weensy bit, but not a whole lot. But uh, you be the judge when you see that if you go see this movie. Definitely... Go see Jumanji the next level. I think you'll really like it. And I thought the story was pretty good too. Now you'll see all sorts of twists and turns and all that jazz in the movie. The way this this game of Jumanji is going to play. Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to be fun. Now, of course, even though I've seen it's gotten mixed to positive reviews from critics, which that's factually good enough and what have you, so. Let me see now. Yeah. So, anyway, I think this will be a good movie. I don't know if it'll, it'll do as well at the box office and will match up to the strong success of Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, but I wish you the best of luck in, in, in the, what it's going to do, okay? Trust me. Anyway, and I'll only give you a heads up, but this is not, but I'm not spoiling this. You will get to see a cameo appearance by one of the original cast members of Jumanji, the first movie. But I ain't telling you who it is, though. Mm -mm, that's spoiling. You need to see the movie, okay? Trust me. Later in life, you will thank me for it. 
So, like I said, this is going. I'm trust this is completely spoiler free, completely, completely. So, anyway, tell me what you thought about Jumanji: The Next Level in the comments section. Did you like it or did you not like it? Well, tell me what you thought about it in the in the comment section and like this video as well if you can and su and support my channel by subscribing to it and be a part of the big d nation thank you very much for watching this now if you liked what you saw you can click the video up there to see my review of jumanji welcome to the jungle or you can see my reviews of the last couple movies i went and saw the theater up in this corner you'll see my spoiler free review of frozen 2 and in this corner you can see my quickie review of knives out which was the last movie i saw and in this corner you can click on that to, to, to come to my channel and check out more of my cool vids thank you again for watching until next time i'm the big d saying see ya